Okay, hello there guys. Slanty Dapple here. Um so yeah, we're just joining in basically at the end of their centre fortress here. It's got about four hundred left out of its ninety six thousand. Um and interestingly enough, this Viking, he's Viking thirty two, his city his water ability is eight hundred and forty two out of twenty one thousand, so I've actually just sent my troops to go over there again. I mean, I know you shouldn't really attack cities. Like I say, it kills your troops, which takes time again to build back up and you lose power. But I'm so close to actually destroying this guy's city that I don't even think I should try not doing it. There we go, 371. So we'll stick around and we'll witness uh, the destruction and obliteration of the Russian Bears Central Fortress. So So yeah, overall a perfect illustration of how to take care of another alliance. Hang around and just watch watch the end of that. That's at 325 health now, so doesn't look like anyone's making any large last ditch attempt to save it. So well done, little B. So yeah, little B dash little X. Great work, guys. And there comes our leader. Wise old man there. Okay, under 300 health. So I might send more. My guy's six minutes away. I don't think he'll make it there in time. Okay. 285. So really not long now at all. Keep my guy marching there. He's five minutes away. My other guys are gathering. Stone and gold, because I've got a research advancement again. I was hoping I'd have enough resources to do a military one and unlock the heavy cavalry. But as you can see, I don't have enough resources. So I'm just going to carry on with my economic side of the tree. Uh, research, research level 2, sawmill. There we go. Right. Let's just keep our eye on this. Watch this disappear. And basically the end of the Russian Bears. 225 left now. So I'll just do some other bits we're working on. Received. Help everyone. And if you look, see I'm saving my commanders here. They level up for the Mightiest Governor Power Increase campaign. Yeah, Mightiest Governor campaign, the Power Increase stage, because that will all be little bits of to help me gain power on that day. And, uh, five minutes speed up building. I mean, I could do the same with everything, but I, you know, save all my building speed ups and everything for that day. But generally, don't like to. Um, I like to try and use them during the games just to try and catch up with the people I'm behind. Plus, like I said, using your rewards obviously builds your things and unlock things quicker than if you was to wait around for them. And then quite often, your 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 rewards are other building speed ups for example so I mean here what should I upgrade I don't think I can do my castle I need more Book of the Covenant to do that so I mean it's good to upgrade I mean look that quarry's got four minutes left so if I keep my quarries upgraded then at least I keep a good supply of stone coming in and let's go take a look at these guys now he's two minutes away 
Russian Bear Central Fortress. 119 health left, so. I say last, still had about 16,000 wall health left, so I stopped attacking him. I haven't looked at this lock hard today, or indeed at Mystic, who are the four that I kept setting on fire yesterday, if you remember. But I am going for this Viking. I, I did message him and warn him to leave the Russian bears, um, otherwise, I would burn his city to the ground. So I must keep true with my threat. Don't want to be a alliance of empty threats. There we go. That's under a hundred now. 60, 60, 59 health. So hopefully he'll lose the city and then have a th he'll lose his uh, center fortress and then have his city set on fire. Level one rally. It's got it there. Okay. Yep. Level one barbarian fort. So I'll probably hit Viking and then head over to that, as that attacking Barbarian forts helps to give you the Books of the Covenant, which help you upgrade your castle, which help you have a bigger rally yourself, so... It's 23, so... So yes, that is how you successfully attack and obliterate a smaller alliance than yourself. Hit hard with a big rally. Try and keep, you know, the more you scout, the more you attack other bits, you're going to keep red flags coming up on their screen. There we go, it's vanished. All gone. Market removed. Okay, so hopefully we may see a bit of expansion here. Now that we've knocked these out, I think the game just takes a little while to update with that. I'm just about to come in and hit Viking City, so we'll just stick around and watch that, guys. Um, and then I'll let you go now that we've watched the destruction of the Russian bears. If you see there, look, their flags are now ineffective. Status and effect. Status and effective. So, oh, on there. there we go, we're hitting Viking City, setting him on fire again, let's go scout him again. Again, I would have lost troops there, yeah, 1,200, let's hope that they were level tier 1 troops there. Eh? Send troops and build, so there we go, now we're building over here. So. I'll send that troop there, he's already out and over this side. Because uh, now we're done with the Russian bears, what's that plan now? Oh, we can move up here for some reason. Possibly a territory thing that we grab in there. Hmm? No, I'm not sure what that is about, or maybe we're just going to go and hit their flags. So, but yeah, anyway guys, this is Slightly Dapple for BX Server 29. You'll take care and I'll speak to you soon.